Hey guys, it's Anna, and today I actually have a back to school haul for you guys. So school's right around the corner, so I got a couple of things that I need for the school year. I have some clothes and some makeup. So if you guys want to see a few items that I picked up getting ready for school, then go ahead and keep watching. So my first stop was at American Eagle, and I got two pairs of jeans. And American Eagle has my favorite jeans because they have um, like regular long and short, and I have short legs, so they fit me perfectly. So the first ones I got are these. They're like just very blue, just regular skinny jeans. And I don't know, something about these just like reminds me of like the 70s, like the colors, just super cute. And I don't have any jeans like this at all, so I'm really excited to wear these. Alright, so the other pair of jeans I picked up are just some black skinny jeans. And American Eagle has the most comfortable jeans. Like, they're so stretchy and, like, they don't feel like jeans at all. So, I have a pair of these and I wear them all the time. They're so worn out. So, I decided to go ahead and get another one. So, they're, yeah, just regular black skinny jeans. Nothing fancy about them. But, yeah, American Eagle's jeans are definitely, like, the most comfortable jeans that I've worn. And I always go back to buying them from there. So, if you need some more jeans, go ahead and check them out. Okay, so next for American Eagle, I got this rose-colored shirt, and it's just super flowy, super loose. It's like a long shirt, so I thought this would look good with like those black jeans. The back's longer than the front, so it just is, gives off a very flowy, long sh shirt look. All the clothes that I actually bought for this year are either black or this rose color, so yeah, I have a nice little color palette to wear this year. Alright, so the next shirt I got from American Eagle is this black shirt. It has like little shoulder cutouts. It's like the other one, very long and flowy. I think it would look really cute with skinny jeans. And yeah, I just thought it was super cute. The cutouts on the shoulder are really cute and trendy, I guess. And you can never have too many black shirts. <laughs> so this is the last thing I got from American Eagle and I'm so excited about this. This is like a little bomber jacket. I think it's so cute. It's a, Again, it's like a rose color. It is so cute. It has like a little cinched waist belt kind of. It has some pockets and the zipper is like gray. It's not silver. I think it's super cute. And then the sleeves like rolled up are so cute. And I don't know. I don't have any jackets like this. And jackets are definitely something that I wear a lot of during school because it's cold in our school building. So I'm really excited to wear this because I don't have anything like it. And I think it will be a really good piece to pair with a lot of different things. And it'll look really cute. Alright, so next I got one shirt from Hollister. And I'm in love with this shirt. I've actually been looking at it for a while. And then I finally went back and got it. I've never seen anything like it. It's a flannel, but instead of like buttoning up the front, there's a little tie. A lot of times when people wear flannels, they leave them open, but this one's closed because it ties up. And I just think it's super cute because it's so different. And I love flannels, so finding this was really cool because it's not just your typical flannel, but it's just, I don't know, something about it is really cute to me and I'm really excited to wear this as well. Alright, so the last place I stopped for clothing is Forever 21. So the first thing I got is this little black sporty t-shirt with kind of like that dusty rose color for the collar and these little stripes on the sleeves. It's just a little, it's kind of short, like almost a crop top, but it's not like super short. But yeah, I think it's super cute and again, I wear black shirts all the time, so picking up another black shirt is always good. Okay, so next from Forever 21, I got this little dress. This is like a baby doll style dress. It has like the pleating all the way down. And this is another one of those dusty rose colors. And I'm super excited about this. I think this dress is so cute. I think the way that these kinds of dresses are made just looks really good on a lot of people. It's really flattering. And, you know, they're just like loose so they aren't like form-fitting or anything. And I'm super excited to wear this. I think it's a super cute dress. I don't have any like this actually. And it's super comfortable, just like a t-shirt dress. Super stretchy material, super soft. And yeah, I think it's the cutest. So, excited about this as well. So the last clothing item I picked up is also from Forever 21. And this is a jacket. This jacket is really long. It's heavy. It kind of looks like a rain jacket. I think it's so cute. It's, again, this, like, rose color. I actually wore it with this dress the other day, and I thought it was the cutest thing ever. It's super cute. It zips up the middle. It has buttons as well. And then there's some, like, little drawstrings. And there's also a hood. It's, like, kind of like a trench coat almost. 
it goes about to the knees and i just think it's a super cute jacket i'm really excited i don't have any jackets like this either and again like i said before i wear jackets all the time in school so i'm super excited about this one and i think it'll look so cute with a lot of things like you could pair this with dresses you could pair it with jeans like anything i think it will look so cute and i'm really excited to style this it'll be a lot of fun all right, so that is it for the clothes. So now I have three makeup products and then we're done. So I went to Sephora and picked up a couple things. And the first thing I picked up is Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. This is my favorite setting spray. I ran out of it, so I had to go get another one. And I thought I would include this in my haul because I don't think I could survive school without setting spray. Like going through a day of school, like you're just in a building for seven hours your makeup is gonna come off i think setting spray is just such a necessity to make up during the school year so definitely if you don't have a setting spray i would try this one especially if you have like combination to oily skin because this is kind of a mattifying one they also have one called the chill makeup setting spray which is for more dry skin that gives you more of like a luminous look and i've definitely heard a lot of really good things about that one as well so if you're looking for a setting spray, I would go ahead and check out the Urban Decay ones because they are definitely lifesavers. So the next thing I went ahead and grabbed from Sephora is the Laura Mercier Loose Translucent Setting Powder. And it looks like this and you open it and it just comes out like a regular loose powder. This powder is pretty expensive. I think it was about $40. There's one ounce in it. It's actually quite a bit of product. So I've been wanting to try this for a long time, but I've always just not gotten it because it's so expensive. Um, I did have the e.l.f. High Definition Powder, which is another loose powder. As you can see, there's a little puff in it but same idea what I was realizing with this is I try to use this for like baking like under here to clean up any bronzer or contour or anything like that and I realized that when I was putting it on it wouldn't like stick to my face it would just fall off I didn't feel like it was really going into my skin and it, I felt like it made it look a little bit like too powdery but when I first tried this it was just so much different it stays on your skin so well it's almost like moisturizing even though it's a powder which is kind of weird i definitely think this stuff soaks into your skin a lot more it leaves a much brighter finish than the elf one so i definitely just think it's worth the money to try to splurge on a higher end powder like this also what i found out is if you just use this to set foundation it almost makes it look like a powder foundation i've been using this to set like some spots of my face that i feel like might move throughout the day i put it on with my damp beauty blender after i do my foundation and i feel like it just looks so silky and smooth afterwards so i definitely think this is really cool i'm gonna keep using it see if my opinions change or anything and i'll definitely let you guys know if anything happens all right so down to the last product i actually went to mac and i grabbed a lipstick and i got the lipstick in the shade stone it's actually what i'm wearing on my lips right now i think this lipstick is so pretty i've been waiting to get it for the longest time but i've always just not done it and i finally went ahead and got it it's like a gray tone brown it almost has a little bit of a purple tint in it i just think it's so pretty the first place i saw this was actually andrea russet was talking about how it's one of her favorite lipsticks and i thought it was so pretty on her so i just really wanted to go ahead and try it and i'm obsessed with it and okay if you have never gotten a mac lipstick these things smell amazing it's like vanilla almost i don't know i think it's vanilla it's so warm and like i just want to eat it I've never smelled a lipstick that smells this good, but it's not like too overwhelming. Like I can't smell it on my lips. It's not a scent that bothers me while I'm wearing it. I can't smell it, but if you smell it in the tube, it smells so good. And of course the packaging for MAC lipsticks are just the cutest, so that's always a plus. So yeah, that is it for my back to school haul. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Let me know in the comments some products that you've gotten for back to school or some things that you can't go without. As always, go ahead and leave anything you want to see down below in the comments. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you have not already. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I love you guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Oh my gosh, allergies.